everyone and welcome to our Touch Base Thursday for May 19th. I am happy to be back with you on our normal Thursday night. I'm just going to give it a minute for all of you to find me live here before we go ahead and get started. So if you are joining me, please comment and tell me hello. And again, we will get started here in just a couple of minutes with our presentation for tonight. If you are on the replay, please comment and tell me that you are watching. Um, and you can still share my video to get entered into the drawing for the prizes. So um, hi to Carol and Janet. Um, welcome, ladies, um, to our normal Thursday night again. I'll be normal for you with you guys for tonight. And I may have to adjust for our open house um, week, but we'll see how that all plays out. Um, it's down to our last final weeks for our high school graduate. So it's just like, yeah, coming to, um, coming to an end as she's sitting in the back going like this as she hears me talking behind me here. Um, so anyway, hi to Shireen, Philomena, Carol. Welcome, ladies, as you are um, joining in for um, tonight's presentation. I created a really fun project for you, um, again, um, literally at 6 o'clock tonight. True story, I'm, my, my daughter's a whore, Natalie's a horrible procrastinator. So when I told her I had to get down here and create a project for you all tonight, she went for tonight's presentation and I went, yeah. She goes, and now who's procrastinating? So yeah, she kind of got me a little bit. But anyway, I think you're gonna love the little project that I'm gonna be sharing with you later tonight. So um, hello to Peggy and Lori and Janet, Courtney. Lori, it was so nice to see you and Joyce. Um, Lori and her sister just live about an hour north of me and they actually drove um, to come to my basement studio to play and do my online bingo last night. So it was awesome to have them here in-house playing with us. Um, and so I just wanted to mention that again and thank them for coming. It was so awesome. Hello to Courtney. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned Peggy, seeing a few of these names coming in. Shelby, Mary, Luann, welcome everyone. So few things that I have in the way of announcements. Actually, it's a lot of things in the way of announcements. So I'm going to talk about my girls. I think I always talk about my girls, but I'm so proud of these two. So they this last week was dance recital. And I got to tell you what these two turkeys did to me. I call them something other than turkeys, but anyway, um, they decided to um, work with their studio owner, or they were offered at their dance studio to do a duo, the two of my, my two girls, and they didn't tell me about it. They kept it from me until I saw it in the program, um, but they danced the most beautiful dance um, this last weekend to a song about, it was called Footprints, and it was about like, you know, um, following in each other's footprints and learning how to share and being best friends, and it was, it was very touching and so literally I like bawled my eyes out um, but I can actually talk about it now because I've watched it three or four times so that I can now ball it out and be able to talk about it but it was so touching and so moving um, such a nice surprise so we wrapped up our dance recital weekend I know I mentioned on my last Facebook live that I had tons of stuff going on last weekend we had our nephew's wedding um which went off very well and that was about an hour two hours away from us on friday and then we came back and it was rush 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 three dance recitals my team card making day um so i'm a little behind on um, the eight ball on getting back with some of you or um actually yesterday was a great mail day so if you um the kits for the month did not go out yet your normal um club um kits will go out next week but if you um, purchased my um my mice class that went out tutorials will be going out um, tonight or tomorrow um, product shares went out in color club went out I posted a picture this morning of all the stuff that, that I got out last night so um, it's uh, yes it's going to be um, a happy happy mail days for a good number of you um, that watch me here so anyway this last week was also Natalie's what they do at our school so our school system is divided into like one student goes through the course of at least four different schools they have two elementary schools one for like grades K through three one for four or five six junior high high school but what they did is they loaded all the seniors on buses there was five buses and guess what Natalie said was five and they went from school to school to school to walk through all, all of the schools so you go through all of them even if the ones that you didn't attend you still walk through them um, but what was so touching is Natalie's kindergarten teacher um, her very first year of teaching kindergarten was the year that she had Natalie and a few of Natalie's classmates there was 10 of her 24 students that were are still in high school in the same school district and she had her current kindergarten class 
hold signs for all of the kids' names. And then some of them may have had, way to go, you know, we love you. And, and they were also at a former elementary school that closed, and they were the last class in there. So it was just so awesome that this teacher went above and beyond to make that whole walkthrough experience, um, like, so special for them. So it was just like, and then, she, and then she sends me the video. The teacher sends me the video on, I think it was Wednesday at 9.30. And I'm like, I can't watch this because I'm just going to ball like a baby. So I'm like, okay, when I'm ready to ball, I'll watch it, get it out of my system, and then I'll go on my day again. So that's what I did. But it was so touching. And so I know I'm, I'm, fr I'm friends with a lot of you on Facebook. I did post it on my personal page if you want to go back and take a look at it. But it was just so, so heartwarming that she did that. Um, this weekend is prom, so I'm sure I'll be posting some pictures of prom this weekend. Natalie just got her nails done today for, for it. When I transition my camera down, I may have to have you guys see her cute nails. Her dress is yellow, so they did her nails really, really cute. And then this is some other big news that I need to share with all of you. So, you know, I mentioned that Natalie was on the varsity dance team, and it just ended. And um, so a lot of the videos that I posted of her, and it looked like a cheer costume, but it was a dance uniform. Um, and anyway, Claire decided to try out for the varsity dance team. Um, she felt she finally had um, all the skills that they would be looking for and excited mom to tell you that she tried out and she made the team. So as Natalie is leaving the team, Claire is joining the team next year. So I'll still be able to post those fantastic videos um, to show all of you. So just lots going on um, in the way of, of my, my girls this last weekend. It's like, woo! Anyway, um, yeah, so graduation for us, we have next week is, um, I think next Wednesday is our honors program, so we'll be going to that, and then I'm trying to think, Natalie, after the honors program, we have, I think it's, then we just have her open house on June 4th and graduation, so you can mention, you can guarantee I am in full steam mode ahead, trying to get, but I'm, I'm pretty organized, so I feel like we're doing pretty good. Where I'm feeling a little, not really defeated, but not ready yet is some of her pictures and things like that for her displays. But I told her it will be what it will be. You know, that's the way it is, right? So anyway, that's what I have in the way of announcements. Just lots of exciting things. I know a lot of schools are done already, had graduation. I seem to think that we go kind of late, but um, her last day of school is not till next Friday, the 27th, which is crazy, crazy, crazy. But she's only there one hour a day. So basically, she's kind of like almost done, but... All right, so all of you know that if you share my video, you get into my drawing for different prizes, right? So we had two prizes from last week, and I, I know that I've had a few of you are excited that I was giving away the Rhinestone Waves Basic Jewels because you can't purchase them, and they go with a bundle that is in our um, catalog. So I'm giving away another set of these, um, the Rhinestone Stone Basic Jewels, and then I also had the Frosted Bead Assortments for the Shaker Cards. So the winner of the Frosted Bead assortment, Assortments is Nancy Snowblin. So congratulations to Nancy. Um, and it's awesome because I think that you have the stamp set and stuff, so you'll be able to use those. Um, and then the winner of the Rhinestones, Rhinestone Waves Basic Jewels is Sandy Johnson. So and I think Sandy's joining again tonight. So Sandy, I'll probably wait and send those out with your club box next week if that's okay with you. But um, you have a package of the Rhinestone Waves Jewels coming your way. So congratulations to Nancy and to Sandy. Um, up for grabs this week, I have a package of the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels um, and a package of the Heart and Home Doilies. So those are the two things um, that I will be drawing for next week. Um, two lucky winners will receive that. All right, just a few more announcements, and then we're going to get started because I really want you guys to see my projects. I, I think you're really going to like them. All right, um, classes that I currently have open is the Hey Sports Fan, my sailboat, or the Let's Set Sail class. Um, the Tea Boutique is still open. Those were cards that I showcased a couple weeks ago. And then I have one spot left in my In Color Club. I did go ahead and send out the first round of In Color Clubs to our In Color, Color Club product um, to all of you that are, are in it. But I have one spot available. So if you're still wanting in on that, let me know. Um, product shares, I think I had enough to cut half of them and the other half is being cut now those will go out probably early next week so i got out what i could so if you did buy the product or the paper share and you don't get it by monday you'll get it by the middle to end of next week so um i'm just trying to get all this stuff done and caught up before i like literally am in full um open house mode so um anyway um let's see here 
to do, do the join promotion. I have to at least mention that again because it's a really good deal. If you want to get some of those in color products for free, $66 value, you can get all of the ink pads, a pack of the assorted designer series paper, a pack of the assorted cardstock, and some really cool in color grid paper all for free just by taking advantage of the starter kit promotion. You get to pick your own product. You get to pick $125 and pay only $99 plus um, tax, free shipping. So it's a really good deal. If you're interested in that, let me know. I'm, my goal was to get 10 people um, to do it, and I'm shy of that by quite a few, but I've been kind of crazy busy. But would love to have you take advantage of that as well. All right, so with that, I am done with my announcements, and I'm going to transition my camera down for you to see my projects. Tonight I'm going to be showcasing the um, He's All That bundle. Natalie, you may have to get me an um, annual catalog so I can show it. Um, but the He's he's All That, or He's the Man, either way you want to call it. I think the stamp set's He's All That, the dies are All That, um, but I think the actual whole product suite is called He's the Man. Um, but it's great for masculine cards. You're going to see some really quick and simple, easy masculine cards that you're going to be able to easily duplicate tonight. You're also going to see an adorable um, 3D project that's perfect just in time for Father's Day. Um, so I think you're going to like that as well. I'm going to get to the page here real quick before I transition my camera down. Totally forgot that I had picked all of this up because I had my class down here this week. So um, with that, I'm going to transition my camera down and I will show you guys what I've got planned for you tonight. And I think you're going to fall in love with this suite just as much as I did. All right, so let me transition my camera down. You're going to get your little sneak peek. Ta-da! All right, let me unplug that I'm hoping that my phone didn't go out on you guys let's see here oh there it came back Woo! I got scared there for a minute my phone said something about rotating it that I rotated it too fast so I got a little nervous thinking oh my goodness you guys aren't going to be able to see anything all right so sorry I'm getting myself situated here making sure I'm in the right spot you guys can see everything okay isn't that a cute project? Wait till you see that one. All right, so I'm gonna move everything out of the way, get myself situated here, whoo. Um, tonight, my ordering promotion, anybody who puts in a minimum $35 order um, on this host code, you will receive three of the projects, two cards and the 3D project sent to you for you to be able to, um, the 3D project you'll have to put together, but I'll have it all cut and scored and all ready for you to be able to do that. So let me show you the, um, the product suite first. Oh, thank you, Philomena. I just got these done. Oh, and I was going to show you Natalie's nails. So yeah, today I told our nail tech, I'm like, well, you get to see me at noon and you get to see Natalie at three. So anyway, Natalie, why don't you come in and show them your nails? This is Natalie's nails for prom. So she's got a yellow dress. Aren't those gorgeous? Here, let me put it behind. Let me put it behind a white piece of paper so you guys can see. Look at the cute little gold in them. So it's kind of like an ombre effect with yellow and gold and some white flowers. So pretty, right? I know. All right, thank you, Natalie, for letting me show off your nails. So we both got our nails done. Look at her little hands, aren't they little? So like literally her ring size is like a what, three or four? Her ring is so, so little. Three and a half. Four. Three and a half, okay, three and a half is her nail size. All right, crazy, crazy. All right, so this is the He's the Man. Oh, look at this, okay, I gotta show. This is her class ring. Yeah, check this out. Can't even fit it on my pinky, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that is how little her fingers are. My girls are just little. That's so funny. All right. So this is the he I'm sorry, I got off track on all of you. But this is the um he's the man product um bundle. It's $68 for the whole bundle. In the bundle, you get the um the stamp set, the coordinating dies, the designer series paper, and a pack of these rustic and metallic adhesive backed um uh, embellishments. Okay, so really, really cool. Now I wanna show you the designer series paper because there is so much you can do with the paper if you really still don't want to purchase the stamps on and the dies. So I'm gonna start off with the one that likes to make a mess everywhere. So this is the designer series paper. All right, in the paper you get two pieces. Now they like to just pop out, but you get two pieces that are just die cutouts that are already kind of all cut out for you, 
all you gotta do is pop them out. So you can see here, you literally just pop these out and they're already stamped. They're something new that Stampin' Up! Has, uh, Stampin Up has done. Like this is all just, you just punch these things out and you can use them. So, you know, you can use these as the elements on your card and not have to even stamp anything um, if you want to. Now you're gonna see me tonight, all the cards and projects that I've got created for you. I did do stamping because there are cards that my, these are cards that my, um, my Gail's made at my team card making day. And it's hard to kind of use this in large quantities when you're preparing for a class or something like that, unless you include the paper and stuff in it. So you're gonna see me make my 3D project though, utilizing exactly that, all of these dies, some of these dies. But they're so cool. I mean, like I said, you can do so much with them. Um, but they do like to fall out just by moving them around. So you gotta be really careful with it because they, they are very easy to lose. I've had many on the floor. So that is actually one of the, you know, normally you get six different designs of paper. That is actually one of the six. So you actually only get five designs of paper. And let me show you these here. They're really cool. What I like about this is that your theme can cover um, so many, um, your, oh, let me turn this one over. Your themes can cover so many different um, theme or your paper can cover many different themes. Here you have ties and sunglasses. Here you have camping. So depending on what you know your interests are. Here you have classic cars. Here you have grilling out um, or whatever you might want to use this awesome paper for. Um, and then you have one. This one is more of like your argyle print. Um, but I, I like it. I like the argyle. And then on the back you have this pattern right here. And then you have a, a Cajun craze solid. You have another, this is Sahara sand that's in there. Um, so that your back side is more of your plain sides to kind of incorporate in with your more busier patterns. Um, yes, it's almost like a paper pumpkin. Couldn't have said it better myself, Courtney. It's kind of cool, I like it. Um, I really do like it. I thought it was kind of a neat little thing. Okay, so we are gonna start today with my 3D project. I always like to start with that while I'm fresh. Oh, let me show you the stamp set and dies quick. So this is the coordinating stamp set. It is a, um, uh, uh, I gotta clean some of them. Oops, I was bad. Um, but it is a um, red rubber clear um, cling mount. And then your coordinating dies. What I like about these dies is that you also get, um, there's a couple of them in here that are great for just cutting out your shapes. So you're gonna see where I used these tonight in my cards. Um, and then you have this one cuts out two banner pieces um, with, one, um, going with one shot going through your machine. So I like that. And then on the other side of this, you have, yeah, mine are all stuck together. Oh, another one of these that is the, I use this one as well, layering one. So you got some different kinds of dyes, some argyle pieces, things you can incorporate into um, your cards as well. Okay, so when I started creating with this um, product suite, I knew I wanted to showcase for all of you some kind of a 3D project. Um, and so, and I, can not, I cannot take credit for this project. Um, I think I saw, I'm not even sure which demonstrator it was, but she had made a version of this and I changed it up a little bit. So this is what I'm calling my six pack of Hershey Nuggets because you know, this would be a great little six pack get it? Haha, <laughs> six pack of beer, six pack to give your dad, your, um, your husband's, you know, spouses, anybody that um, is, you know, or dad or anybody you want to just recognize on Father's Day. But it, um, it's got six of those little Hershey nuggets in it. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this. Now I will also post the, um, in the description of the video, and I'll also have it over on my blog by the end of the day tomorrow, usually by lunchtime tomorrow I get it done, I will post the, um, the measurements for this, but it is so, so simple. And again, um, I used just some of the cutouts. So what I did for my pack of paper is I took, when I, when I designed that, these are all the cutouts from one pack of paper. So these are all the ones that I mentioned are in that, um, you know, that first sheet. Um, I just took them all out and put them in a bag. So you can then create your cards and use this paper to do so much stuff with it. So I just kind of pulled things out of it and designed this. So let me find my measurements here and we are going to make this. Isn't that cute? I know, a six pack, right? All right. So for this, you're gonna to wanna to get any kind of Hershey nuggets that you like. 
Um, I should have gotten ones that I don't like, but I ended up getting the ones I do like, which are the extra creamy milk chocolate with toffee and almonds. And I literally stopped and got these on my way um, back from my nail appointment on, on my lunch hour. Um, luckily, he's fast at getting my nails done, so I had a little bit of time. And I just wrapped him with designer series paper. I know a lot of you have probably seen that before and seen that done. Um, and then made a cute little box for them and made it look like it was a little. All right, so let me show you how easy it is to make that. Again, these measurements will be in the description of my video. I'll also have them posted over on my blog when I get my post done, but it's really, really easy. So you're gonna use, I use Sahara Sand. Now you might want to use a different color. You can also change this up and use any designer series paper cardstock that you might already have. But your first piece of, um, of the um, Sahara Sand cardstock, you're gonna want it to be four and a half by two and three fourths. So it's four and a half by two and three fourths. And then all you're gonna do on, um, on all four sides is score it at three quarters of an inch. So three quarters of an inch, and then I turned it, three quarters of an inch, and I turned it. So again, three quarters of an inch on all four sides. This is going to be the box. So with this, we're going to just cut up the four little tabs. Oh, is it, I know it, isn't it cute? I think it's cute too. Hi, Kathy. So, oh, you'll have to make them one of these too, Kathy. This is really cute. Okay, so again, I'm just cutting up those four tabs. I'm doing a little bit of miter cutting where I cut off the little um, part of the little um, inside so that when I go to, you'll see what I mean here if you're new to, to this um, uh, process of doing this little miter cutting. It just takes off some of the excess so that the box will fold up a little bit better, okay? Um, but these are so simple. When you see how simple, you're gonna go, oh my gosh. These would also be great to do in a Christmas themed. If any of you do craft shows or anything like that, this would be a great project as well. All right, now we're just going to fold up on all of these seams. So I'm just gonna fold, fold, fold um, on all of those. And we're just going to um, glue these up like it is a little box. So see by cutting that off, it makes that be down further so that it doesn't stick up over the top. So I am going to put some adhesive on all four of those tabs. You can either use tear and tape for tonight. I'm just gonna use my regular seal. Um, thank you, Beth. I think it is too, it's so cute. Okay, and then I'm just going to fold this up and make it into a little box. Yes, this is four and a half by two and three fourths. So four and a half by two and three fourths and you score it at three quarters of an inch on all four sides. That's literally the little tray that they sit in. Okay, now we're gonna work on the little insert that you go that goes inside of it. Again, it's really easy. It is a unique measurement, not bad, but it's like to the eighth of an inch. So you have to kind of be a little bit more careful when you're cutting. I'm just gonna move that to the side. But your second piece of the same color cardstock, or you could change it up if you really, really wanted to. I'm gonna lay that down so you guys can see it. But this one is six by two and seven eighths. So it's six by two and seven eighths. And then on the long side, you're gonna score it in three spots. You're gonna score it at a half of an inch, at three, and then again at five and a half, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fold it in half, and then these two, you are going to fold back like that, okay? So you kind of have this little, little tent going on. And we're gonna actually adhere these together, okay? So for that, you're gonna wanna use some Tombow glue. So I'm just gonna bring in my Tombow glue and I'm gonna put a real thin layer of it all the way. I had to tell you, this little glue holder um, that Lucas did is so amazing to be able to have um, this glue ready and right where I want it. Like it all, it sits in here so it's always upside down. It's just perfect. All right, and then what we're going to do, again, you can see that doesn't take much. This, If you do a lot, you're gonna have it all coming out the sides. You don't need a whole ton of it. You're just gonna start here at the top and you're just going to make sure that you glue that together really, really good. And you're gonna to wanna to hold it just a little bit to make sure that that kind of secures. But this Tombow glue, you have a little bit of time to maneuver things if you need to. But for this one, I want to make sure that it's, it's glued really good. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of make sure. 
And can you see then that this will fit perfectly inside of your box? So I found it easier when I made my sample to put the glue down on the inside versus on this because I was afraid by doing that and if I might get it on the edge and stuff like that. So I found it easier for this to put the glue on the inside. It's gonna cover that entire bottom. So just glue the bottom of the box. And then this is just going to set inside perfectly. And then you're gonna to wanna to take like your bone folder or something and make sure that you stick this down really good so that we, you know, and again, kind of go over it a couple times, put your finger on it, get it to glue down really good so that way you have it, but it's gonna be perfectly in there. Now you can see here that one of your little sides doesn't go all the way to the end, but it doesn't matter because your Hershey Nuggets are gonna cover that up, okay? But there is your little six pack holder, right? So from there, it's just decorating it. So what I did is I cut two pieces of designer series paper. Um, these are cut two and five eighths by two and a quarter, and I need to change my blade. So again, these are two and five eighths by two and a quarter. And they're just gonna fit in here perfectly. So I'm gonna go back to using my snail and I'm just going to adhere this in here like that. And I'm going to put the other one on the other side. And then I cut um, little pieces for um, decorating around the little tray, I call it. So for that, you're gonna need two pieces, um, two again, because you have the front and the back. These two pieces are two and five eighths by one half of an inch. So again, I use the same, um, I use the same uh, paper here. So I'm just going to put this on here like that. And then I'm gonna put the other one on the other side. And you could leave it at that if you wanted to, but I chose to add a little piece of paper to the other sides as well, because why not? decorator up nice and cute. So for the two end pieces, I know I see those hearts coming in. Isn't this cute? I know, I think it's adorable too. So I'm hoping I have my other little piece. I may have lost it in the process. So I may only be able to glue one side on, but this real little piece is a half of an inch by one inch. So, and if you ever, you know, are trying to figure it out, you could just measure this and then just decrease it in size by a quarter of an inch. So that's the other secret there. But yeah, I'm not seeing my other little piece. Oh, here it is. It's because I have 20 million pieces for this project. Uh, isn't it? I know, Carol, it's so cute. So, um, and it's perfect and timely in time for Father's Day coming up right around the corner. So, all right. Then from there, I went to my little bag of tricks. So this again is all those dies that you get um, from um, doing that piece of paper, when that piece of paper is. So you can pull out any of these that you want. What I did is I put um, the little stars here are from this as well. Um, you can see them right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on there. But there's lots of stuff in here. You could add little stars. There's little bow ties. I mean, you could decorate this up so many different ways. So I just chose the little stars because they fit perfect um, right across the center and I only decorated like I didn't put the stars on the back I just did this one here on the front and it fits on here perfectly so you're going to kind of want to eyeball the center here and put that on and then pick out whatever you want to put here at the top so on this one I did holy smokes you're the best and so on this one let's see here if I can find one that I might like to do here we go you're a champ I'm gonna put your champ up there. So I'm only gonna put adhesive on the first, like the bottom half of it, because I want it to stick out over the top. But again, no stamping needed. So, um, oh, Beth, they're little, they're Hershey Nuggets. So we're gonna, we're gonna actually fill this one up next. I'm gonna push those all out of the way. So I ended up getting um, a small bag so that I wouldn't eat them all. Of, but of course, I still got my favorite. So these are just the Hershey Nuggets. I got the extra creamy milk chocolate with toffee and almonds because you got to have, you know. Um, then if you cut your uh, some of your paper, again, I use paper from the same um, product suite here that I've been using, um, one by three. And if you use glue dots, 
And I'm chuckling as my friend Shireen is watching this because of one of my projects for an event that I did, I forget how many um, Hershey Nuggets she did this with where she wrapped them in designer series paper. And I appreciated her so much for doing that. It had to have been well over, gosh, I don't know how many even. Um, we had, I think 60, we made 60 and each one held like five or six. Yeah, she um, did this with a lot of, a lot of, um, of uh, Hershey Nuggets. Now, when I wrap my Hershey Nuggets, I'll give you a little tip. So you wanna get it nice and tight around there. So when you put this on, um, I like to put it on, so you can see this one is sealed down. So I like to put it on where it's sealed down. So when I pull it tight, it's pulling it down with it and not bringing this up. So if I was to wrap this this way, um, tell me I've done it, ask me how I know I've done this before. Um, when you do that, um, you can pull this right up with it, okay? So I like to wrap them. I start from the bottom, or the yeah, the bottom of the Hershey Nugget. I put it halfway on like that. Four glue dots, you saw that I put one on each end. And then I just make sure this gets wrapped nice and tight as I'm pulling it around and finishing it off in the back, okay? So Natalie did the other five in advance to save a little bit of time on my video with all of you tonight. But then these six Hershey Nuggets, now if you wanted to, you could put a little glue dot on the end to hold them in here. I find that they stay just fine. Um, but you can see here that all six of these cute little nuggets will fit inside this adorable little six pack. And there you have a cute little project, a little six pack to give the men in your life, your, you know, your sons, your, you know, whatever, um, husbands, anybody. I did decorate it up using those, um, added some of those rustic um, and metallic uh, dots to this. Um, so again, you can add them wherever you would like to add them. Whoa, I got too much putty out of there. So I'm just going to add a couple of them for tonight's project right here on the ends. But you can see that you can add them wherever you want. I added them um, on here as well on that one. Um, and I'm probably going to give my boss one of these as well as a little, here you go, because that's just what I do. He's used to it by now. Uh, but isn't that a cute project? Thank you, guys. When I first was doing it, I'm like, I hope they don't think this is kind of silly, but I think it's a great little six pack. You know, what else do you give, you know, the guys in your life? And this is the perfect paper. So you still have time to order this paper and get it in time for, um, to make some of these awesome projects. Um, again, I will be posting the dimensions on um, the description of my video right here. Um, and I'll also be having it on my blog as well. Hello, Peggy, and welcome. And thank you, Maureen. Yes, I just thought it was too cute. Too cute to not. Um, oh, my gosh. Yes, Lucas will get one. You're right. He'll get the holy smokes. You're the best because he truly is. So anyway, I hope you liked my little 3D project for tonight. I just thought it was really cute. And I didn't realize, but once I, um, I made it, I'm like, the end color kind of matches the whole theme of the colors too so um you know it, it, they said the, the the regular ones i think are silver the ones with almonds are gold and these just happen to be the ones with almonds and toffee so um anyway thank you i'm glad you like the project okay <clears throat> so i hope that all of you make some little six packs and give them to everyone because they're really adorable and you can see how quick and easy and it was it's the first 3d project that i was not afraid to show you because i can make a box and how easy to make that little insert okay so again, those will all be posted for you so you'll be able to see them. All right, so moving right along to my first card. Oh my goodness, it's already 7.35. All right, it's okay. I think I'll get through these. So these cards are not anything too fancy. I used no ribbon on them. The only embellishment that I used, can you believe that, Courtney? No ribbon. The only embellishment that I used are the ones that came with the bundle, which are the rustic metallic adhesive backed dots. Um, and at first I thought these cards were really, really plain, but at my team card day, my ladies loved them. They thought they were perfect um, for Father's Day and quick masculine cards. Now, all of these, I did use the stamp set. So you can see here the stamp set, Get you have a lot of, um, you have a stamp set to go pretty much with all of those designer series papers. And so that's kind of the theme that I did. So one of them I did the classic car, one of them I did um, like the camping, one of them I did like the, the barbecue. So you're gonna kind of see different themes that I used um, on tonight's cards um, to kind of coordinate with all of the different designer series paper that is in that paper stack. Oh, I just hit my computer. All right, hopefully we're good. 
All right, so for this one, I chose to use Early Espresso for my card base. Um, again, using colors that is all coordinated with the colors of this designer series paper. Um, I also use the soft um, succulent, um, which is the five and a quarter by four. Nuggets are great. You can't go wrong with nuggets, right? I know Philomena. Philomena is used to me in all of my layering that I do. I am a layering hog. All right. So we are going to go ahead and adhere this layer down. I did emboss this with the gingham embossing folder. Um, and that one I think is carrying over into our, or did carry over into our catalog. If not, it's still current because it's in our little one that ends in June. And then I just layered a piece of this, again, letting the paper do the work on this one. This is a four by three piece of the um, uh, camping paper. I layered it behind another piece of the, um, early espresso because it just fits on it perfect again layer 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 right and I didn't want to cover up the pretty paper because the paper just does a lot there and again because Stampin' Up! coordinates everything that we do there is a stamp right here that's going to coordinate together for the long haul so this would be a cute one for you know to give to your own spouse to give to um uh this could also be a good one for like your kids' um, anniversaries or anything. Together for the long haul is kind of a kind of a nice one. And then I just layered it with some circles um, from the layering circles. I gotta get away from using the layering circles. I find that I use them a lot, but they're so easy and most people have them. And so when I'm designing cards to share with all of you, I want them to be something that most of you can duplicate. And, um, cause I'm all about that. Like, you know, so cute when some of you will message me, do you care if I showcase or if I case your cards that you, no, go right ahead. That's exactly why I do my Facebook lives. Um, is for you to be able to do that. I will tell you that this is also going to be a class. If you'd rather not worry about having to cut everything yourself, this is also going to be a class that I'm offering. I believe it is in June, um, using all of this. So you'll be able to purchase the class where everything will be cut. Um, you will obviously need your stamp set. Um, or in place of these, you can use, um, buy the paper and use some of those instead. So you wouldn't have to, um, you wouldn't have to, uh, you know, get the stamp set if you really don't want to. And then I just added some of these adorable little rustic dots down here on the bottom. And I didn't think you needed much more after that, really. Like, it's just kind of pretty and simple. I mean, a masculine card, in my opinion, doesn't need to have all the bells and the whistles and things like that, right? It is a great compliment to me. I absolutely agree with that one, Philomena. I love it when you guys do that. It is the best compliment. It means you like my cards, and that's why I, that's what keeps me creating for all of you. All right, so there's your first card um, that I created using this. Um, and I thought this paper was gonna be harder for me to use than it was. Um, once I sat down and started creating, I just, I actually was like, that's a nice card. That's a nice card with every single one that I that I kept going and doing. All right, here's the next one. So this one is to the man who does everything. So this is the, gonna actually be the Father's Day card that I give my own my own husband because I will tell you there's not some there isn't anything the man cannot fix. He is a jack of all trades. He's an electrician by trade, but a jack of all. And I always tell my friends that um, he can fix and figure out just about anything. If something's broke, he can figure it out. So again, simple and clean, and that's kind of the look I was going for. So for this one, I chose to use my basic black for the card base. So I have to put another, um, like another layer. I'll probably put a layer of the Sahara sand in the inside so I can write him a nice little note. Um, I again used the soft succulent, and then I paired it with um, all the different colors that I use. So let me just kind of go together and show you how I layered this. So, um, and again, you can see there's just not a whole lot. It's just layers, layers of stuff. Cardstock, how's that? Layers of cardstock. So five and a quarter by four. And then I did a four by three of the black. And this then is a um, three and three fourths by two and three fourths. So these just get layered down together. And then I adhered them down at an angle. So for this one, I'm just going to, thank you everyone. Um, simple, exactly. Shireen, it is very simple. But I again, um, he's a very simple man, so I know he'll like this card. Um, 
And after I created it, I got looking at it and I'm like, do I need to add anything else to it? Like I was thinking, kind of felt like it needed something. And the more I kept looking, I'm like, no, it's perfect. So this is the stamp, um, again, from the same stamp set. He's all that. It's right here to the man who does everything. And then I used one of those die cuts that's in our, um, in the die, in the, in the, in the dies. And then the two banners, remember the two banner um, die? I cut them out and I just adhered them down here on the bottom. So I'm just gonna go like that. And then I adhered one this way and I adhered one this way, lining up the bottoms kind of sort of the best you can. And then I put this whole thing on with some dimensionals. Doo -doo -doo. I covered up my dimensionals. <laughs> It is. Sahara Sand, I actually find myself using Sahara Sand a little bit more than even Crumb Cake. Crumb Cake used to be my go-to for a good um, neutral color, but Sahara Sand, I just think is even a little bit more, I don't know, I use it more than the other one. And that just started in the last little bit here. And then I'm going to adhere that on at an angle as well. And I, I have these little banner pieces sticking out a little bit more than I have those, but that's okay. And then I just took um, my little ones and added a couple little of the rustic um, little dots to the bottom banner here. And there you have another quick, simple, easy card. But so simple and nice, right? All right, so that is card number two. Let us, let me see what we have next. Oh, here we go. This is a good one as well. So this one I used the um, barbecue kind of template on this one. And I'm gonna show you a little tip that I did right here. So you're gonna see a little tip and trick here in a minute. Um, and these shapes are also shapes that are part of the, um, the die set. So they're all part of the die. For this one, I used the Cajun Craze for my card base. And then I brought in the black and the, I just thought it needed a pop of color, okay? I know, Lori, I know you'd be proud. I am using that. And I'm getting kind of used to that take your pick tool. So um, I, since I was using this paper, I knew I wanted to bring in the Sahara Sand and the black, but it needed a pop of color. So that's why I went with the Cajun Craze because the other two that I did were mostly focusing in on that soft succulent. Um, so that is why I decided to go with the Cajun Craze. So I have a layer of basic black that's five and a quarter by four, um, followed by a layer of the, um, the uh, Sahara Sand. Again, I stuck with the same embossing folder. So if you don't have this embossing folder, you can pick a different one. Any of them will work. I just like a little bit of texture when you see most of my um, top layer. I like the texture to it. So I'm just going to adhere these two together like that. And then these two are going to get layered down to my card base. So here's a little tip. I didn't have a lot of this paper left because I was using this paper for so many cards. Um, you know, my team card day, all kinds of stuff. So if you don't have enough to go across all the way, you can take a little piece and you cut it in half. So here's my little tip and trick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just adhere one little piece down here isn't this a good little tip? Yep, yep, yep. So, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm a weirdo. I like to just turn it the same way, um, line it up, and it'll be close as good enough for me. Maybe it needs to come down a smudge. Ta-da! Okay. So then when you add your piece of paper down the center, no one's going to even know that you piecemealed that paper underneath of there. So it's a neat little tip if you want to not have to have a lot of waste. Doo -doo. Okay, isn't that awesome? Yes, yes, yes. All right, so then what I did is, I, I know, right? Great one. I, I was running out of that paper and I needed to make it work. So, all right, this is one of the die cut shapes from the dies that are with this bundle. And I just cut it out using Cajun Craze. You can see here, it gives you a little bit of an, an edgelet all the way around. And then I stamped the Holy Smokes, You're Amazing using Cajun Craze. And I used the exact same, um, one of the dies again from the same set. Um, and they layered together very nicely. So these two I just adhered together. Um, and I used the um, Very Vanilla for this. 
And then this piece I did put on with dimensionals. Thank you, Anne and Carol. I, yes, I am. Um, I was like, I need something. I needed a little pop of color there. And I'm looking after, this is I think the last card that I designed with all of this. And I'm like, huh, will I have enough for that? Yeah, I will. And that fits on there perfect. This piece of paper is two inches. So it's two inches by three and three fourths. And then I added, let me bring the sample back in so you can see. Again, I just simply added some of those. I almost went for the scissors, Lori. Um, I added on some of these little um, rustic, I added a big one to the ends, and I added a little one, little ones to these little ends. So there's two different sizes on here. And there you have another awesome card. And the neat thing is, is any of these cards you could use and give with your little six pack that I showcased earlier tonight. So, um, you know, you can tell your, your honey, I got you a six pack. <laughs> All right, so there is that card. Let me see what's next. Oh, this next one is probably one of my favorite. Um, this one um, is uh, using the classic car paper, okay? Oh, thank you, Peggy. I'm glad you like them. Um, this one I think is one of my favorites. I like the little classic car, the little stamp set, or the ink, or this, yeah, that stamp, not stamp set, that stamped image, which is right here. And that one kind of goes with this. So can you see how Stampin' Up! has it where every designer series paper design has a stamp that goes with it? I really like that. Um, that was very thought through so that you could design and have the coordination that we all love. So for this one, I used Cage, or not Cajun Craze. Sahara Sand. I use Sahara Sand for the card base. And then I have my Cajun Craze layer that is, um, this one might, I may have got mine. Oh, this might be a little bit too big for a card base. It is. I'm gonna have to cut this down. I didn't cut this one down right. Let me grab my trimmer. One sec. It's gonna be too big otherwise. Okay. Sorry about that, but I can't make a card look silly. All right. So this is your five and a quarter, or five and a half by eight and a half. Mine was a little bit too big. I had to trim it down on a quarter of an inch. And then this is five and a quarter by four, and now it will fit better. And then I have my black one that is five by three and three fourths. So we're just gonna do some simple layering of these two together. So these two, whoop, everything's rolling around on me here, get layered together. And then we are going to add some of the designer series paper. So this little piece with the cars goes at the top. This one is three and a half by two and a quarter. I may have cut them two and a half. I'm not sure for sure. Thank you, Anne. Yes. And that's, like I said, after I designed them, um, I even said to my girls, both my girls were down here because we sometimes they come down and we watch movies together while I'm working on stuff. And I said, okay, guys, I said, do these look really like too, this is the same paper. You can see I just used the back of the other one. I said, do they look too plain? And they were both like, no, because they're for guys. You don't want them to be fancy. And I went, okay, that's kind of what I thought. Um, yeah, and they're very, very simple. Since I was not using any, um, any ribbon, I felt that again, it needed something between those two, um, where those two pieces of paper meet. And I'm really pulling out the black, the black mat and then the black around the cars. So I went with a little three um, quarter, or yeah, three and a half, yeah, three and a quarter inch strip that measures three and a quarter by, um, by five, and uh, it goes all the way to the end of the black. So the black is five by three and three fourths. So it's three fourths by three and three fourths. And I'm just going to, again, put this right on top, and it goes all the way from the black to the black. So um, all the way to the end. This one's a little bit long, but you get the gist of it there. And then what I did is I measured. For this one, I measured the, the stamp. So I knew what size this should be. So I just took the stamp, went to my trimmer, I measured it. Um, I think this is like um, one and three-fourths by one and three-fourths. This is two by two. So I didn't want it to be too, too big. And again, I want that paper to be shown. So, um, and this, this one kind of has your, a, a stamped uh, sentiment and your stamped image all in one. 
So I just put it right in the middle. I mean, normally I would put this up at the top and I'd add a little thing down here for my sentiment, but I'm like, no, because I want that paper to be shown. Again, it was one of those things where I was like, is this okay? Like it's kind of a plain card, but they're plain, plain, simple, but they're classy. I think they're very classy. And I think it's the color combinations that make them that way. Um, so like I said, if you've overlooked this bundle or at least this paper in the new catalog, you have to get it. It is really, really pretty and makes some really awesome projects. And I found pairing it with um, Very Vanilla um, made it even more classy and, and more, I wouldn't say elegant. What's the right word I'm looking for? I'm not sure what the right word is, but I liked it paired with um, Very Vanilla better than the white. Even though there's some white in the um, designer series paper, I just found that I liked it better with Very Vanilla. So that is what I went with. And then I added, again, a couple of those to the card. And there you have it. Again, quick and simple. Happy birthday to a classic. So simple. All right, I've got one more card to share with you, and we're right on about time for my one hour that I try to stay with all of you and not um, uh, keep you guys over that. So this one focuses in on the, I would call it your professional worker. Um, I like to think about my brother-in-law. He works in, he's an optical manager. So with the glasses, it's perfect for him. Um, so this one's more along the lines of, you know, the paper for those that, you know, work more in the corporate world. Um, but for this one, I used basic black for my card base and I paired it with um, the, um, Sahara sand. All right. And so when I was designing these again, I'm like, I really want this paper to show and I'm a layer person. So what I did is I cut a couple pieces of the designer series paper into three by three squares. So this one again is the back and front. So I used one side like this and one side, you know, like that and three by three and it is on a three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch piece of Cajun craze um, cardstock. So for this one, I did one of them with the glasses. Thank you, Carol. I did one of them with the glasses showing. And then the other one I did where this, it's its kind of hard to see, but it's black and it has Cajun craze stripes in it. So um, that's where you gotta be careful when you put adhesive down, cause it's easy to accidentally do them both the same way. And then you'll be like, oh no, they're not different. And then all I did for these is I adhered, um, let me make sure I get this one glued back down better. I must have been in a hurry and not adhered it down. There we go. All right, so for this one, I adhered this one down at the bottom. So I'm just going to add adhesive and adhere this one down at the bottom. Again, leaving that little bit of a border around there, about a quarter inch border. And then this one, I'm going to adhere at the top the same way and over on the other corner. So you're gonna have a little bit of um, a little bit showing here, but that's okay. But look at that! Just how those two layers just kind of make that look awesome. All right, this one I did the wishing you a happy Father's Day. So it's just the sentiment right here. Um, if you don't want to make it a Father's Day card, it'd be a great birthday card as well. So you could even if you don't, um, you know, if you have different birthday sentiments, it doesn't have to be from this stamp set. I just showcased this stamp set because it's the one that I was using. But this is the die from the um, the same um, same dies that go with this. So it is the all that dies. And then I cut one out using the Cajun Craze. So I know most of you have probably seen this little tip, but all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it in half. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive on the top and the bottom. So this is a great way to get a little border around pieces if they don't have a different um, one that's a different size. And I'm just going to put this on here on the top and the bottom to give make this kind of stand out a little bit and give it its own little border. Okay, and who doesn't matter if the back is crooked, no one's gonna see it. And then I'm gonna add some dimensionals to that. I'm gonna add about three of them here. And that I put right along the top <clears throat> in that more black section. So that way it covered up some of that. Wishing you a happy Father's Day. And then again, topped it off with a couple of these little rustic, little rustic things. Dots, there you go. Look at that. Isn't that cute and simple? So keep that in mind if you're ever like, okay, it needs a, it needs a shape behind it. 
cut out the same one and just cut it in half. Now I could have also cut it in half the other way and had it go on the sides, but I wanted it to be on the long side. All right, so with that, that is my projects that I have to share with you tonight. Thank you all for the lovely hearts. Um, again, they're simple but easy for you to duplicate and very easy for you to be able to create all on your own. So I'm gonna recap and bring in all of my cards and projects that I made with you tonight. Um, again, I will have the, um, the little 3D project uh, measurements in the description of my video. I'll also do a blog post um, later tonight or tomorrow morning that will also have those in there. Um, but these are the five cards that we made over the last hour. Thank you guys, you're all so sweet. And then our little six packs, but you won't get drunk. They won't get drunk on these. <laughs> Heck, a couple beers and I'd be under. I'm not a drinker at all. Anyway, but aren't they cute? So this is a little, if you are late joining my Facebook Live, these are the cute little, um, I'm calling them little six packs of Hershey Nuggets. Um, and again, if you wanted to, you could put a little glue dot on the bottom and stick them in there. Um, and it would be, you know, they'd be, but if you're just carrying it, they're gonna stay in there just, just fine. So um, anyway, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed. Now again, a reminder, if anyone's interested, oh, I need to move this over. I just realized that you guys can't see them all. If anyone's interested in putting in an online order, um, you have until Sunday night at 8 p.m. to do that. This is my website, that is my host code. There's also a direct link, as soon as you go there, it'll say shop now and you shop there and it gives the host code as well. Um, anybody who does that, you'll get three of these projects um, sent to you tonight. One of them will be um, the little six pack. It won't be all put together. It'll be scored and ready for you to assemble. Um, I can even include six of these Hershey nuggets if you want me to, because then I wouldn't be able to eat them. Um, and then I'd also include a couple cards. The cards would already be done and finished for you. Um, so that way you'd be able to just use them and send them out on your own for whatever need that you might have. So thank you all so very much for joining me tonight for this awesome Facebook Live presentation. Next week, I'll be showing you how to use the butterfly and flowers masking um masking sheets. They are available in our January through June catalog. Um, only because I know I won't have time to design anything additional new and I've got those cards ready to go and the dies are still available and I think if I show you how to use them, some of you are going to want to add them to your collection as well. All right, thank you all so very much for joining me tonight for my presentation on the He's All That bundle and I hope that you join me and come back on next Thursday night as well. Um, for my next um, Touch Base Thursday Facebook Live. Bye everyone and enjoy your weekends.